In this video, we are going to cover how to view and update binary objects and large text in a database. Using WinSQL, not only can we view large files, but we can also upload local files to a remote database. These binary files can be images, audio, video, or any other file format. In this example, I'm going to be connecting to an MS SQL Server database and showing you how to insert large objects and view them in WinSQL. In the Query window, I'm going to create a table called Candidate that includes two large fields. In this case, the Resume field and the Photo field. The Resume field will be of type text, and the Photo field will be of image type. Once my table is created, I'm going to refresh the catalog by pressing the F5 key. Next, I'm going to navigate to my table by going to the left side, expanding Tables, Candidate, and selecting the Browse Data node. So now let's add a couple of records here. I'm going to start by right-clicking and selecting Insert New Record, which will pull up the New Record Wizard. Here I can type in values for each of the fields in my table. And if you look down, you'll see that WinSeq will automatically create the query for publishing this change for you. For the Resume field, you can type in the entire resume, but a better option would be to click the drop-down arrow on the right side and select Load Data from a Text File. Here I can select the plain text resume file, which will load the entire contents of the file for me. And I can do the same thing for the photo field and select an image. Now if we look back at the query, you'll notice that there is a function included. This is a feature in WinSQL to allow you to easily load data from files. When I click Execute, WinSQL will read the files and upload them to the local database. Now let's create one more record. This time, I'm going to use another text resume and a PDF file for the image. Back at my table, I now see two records. And for the large fields, I see a zoom button in their cells. When I click on their cell, WinSeq will pull up the zoom window where I can see the actual data. For the first record, the data was in plain text, so I can see the resume in the raw data tab. And for the photo, I can click on the image tab and see the actual image. If you look in the bottom left corner, you will see the size of the file. There's also an option here to save this image to a local file. For the second record, I used a PDF file for the image. I can click on the Other tab to see a list of applications that I would like to open the image in. You'll notice that there are many applications here that I can use for different file extensions. In this case, I'm going to choose Adobe Acrobat. When I click Launch Application, Adobe Acrobat will launch with the PDF file loaded. Back on the other tab, you may have noticed a custom option here. This allows you to open any file type in its respective application as long as you have that application installed on the local machine. If you have any questions about WinSQL, you can read our extensive knowledge base on our website or reach out to us at support at for all questions.